Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 11. In this segment, it's time for some more trucks in. So, uh, let's kind of hope my second truck race goes a little better than my first. Uh, not going to go off to a good start because I'm going to be starting last because I wasn't able to qualify because I had the modified race on the same day as qualifying for the truck race. But without further ado, let's go to Texas for the O'Reilly 400K. Take it away, Bill Weber, for the fucking race intro thing speech. EA Sports brings you tonight's NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series racing from the heart of the Lone Star State. The start of tonight's O'Reilly 400K is only minutes away. The Texas Motor Speedway is known for its high speeds and tight groove, so this one should be a close one right to the checkered flag. Texas truck action is just moments away as we get ready to drop the green flag on tonight's event. Yay, all right, so I'll, I'll let the starting grid scroll at the top of the screen. <laughs> So you know who's starting where, if you care enough about that. Starting Grid, sponsored by Mr. Clean. <laughs> I don't know. And there I am in last. Fucking Matt Crafton. Apparently he's having a shit season, because he's starting 35th. You know, one of the real drivers. Goddamn. But anyways, away we go. 41 laps here at Texas Motor Speedway. And I think I short-shifted in the fourth gear. I wasn't really paying attention to my revs, but uh, regardless, everyone pulls away from me as we have a near accident on the exit of turn two involving, oh my god, involving the 18 truck of, I think, Chad Chaffin is his name. Oh, and more issues behind me. Okay, well then, holy shit. I had nothing to do with any of these crashes, they are just all happening behind me, so, uh, <laughs> there we go. Fucking hell, that was, uh, that was a crazy first lap. I was around all the carnage, but I wasn't actually involved in any of it. Which is cool. Anyways, I'm gonna opt to not pit under this caution. Even though I'm in the back of the field. Honestly, I probably should have pitted, even though it's been one lap, but hey, whatever. Alright, well... Restart time after one lap of action. Lost three laps under caution, so restart on lap number six, actually. So we lost four laps under caution. So yeah. One interesting thing and weird thing about how cautions work in this game. Um, now, you know, in real NASCAR, because of the whole freezing the field thing, or like, yeah, ceasing all action as soon as the yellow flies, uh, in real life, if you happen to be the guy, like, like if you're involved in the accident that brought out the yellow, you know, you're, you're not able to, like, hold your momentum and therefore you get shuffled back to the back of the field. In this game, not so much. It, uh, all that matters is whatever position you were in when the yellow waved, that's where you're going to restart. Even if you crashed. So, uh, yeah. There's that. Are these Bailey's favorite oranges? Yes, these are, in fact, Bailey's favorite oranges. They hug. Hug life, yo. I mean, the whole restart thing, or yeah, position thing is not, a, this wasn't a good example because we were all in the back of the field anyways, but still. Actually, I think I showed, no, I didn't show it off. At the last race at Dover, because I was already I was also in the back of the pack at Dover, so never fucking mind. Meanwhile, um, this is happening. Everyone is driving away from me, and also in a giant pile. I mean, these are my first laps that I'm turning here at Texas, so I don't really know anything about how how fast I should take these turns or anything. But it's fine. It's okay. And again, I'm just kind of here to, you know, run some laps, get some extra money, maybe hopefully get an offer for a better truck ride next season so I can uh, be even more successful. Oh, and... 
and early pit stops. All right, the early pitters are pitting now. Fucking ten laps before four halfway. Jesus. Well, at least we know their fuel mileage now. They can go 31 laps, apparently, on the full tank. Cool for them, I guess. So, 11 laps down, 30 to go here at Texas. Interesting how this race is branded as a 400 kilometer race, because, you know, America. Especially NASCAR, the most American of sports. But hey, that's what they uh, wanted to brand this race as, so. Works for me. <laughs> Works for me. So I'm just gonna keep running laps here and not do this. Don't do that, me. That was a combination of too late slowing down and too late on entry. Fucking fantastic. I was actually running some pretty good laps up to that point. I think I was even closing in on the guys directly in front of me. And Denny, looking forward to Sebring in next year, the WEC event. You know, I'm looking forward to Sebring of this year. One, because of the race itself, and two, because of my stupid Forza 7 stream. That's going to be a thing that I'll probably fail miserably at, because I'm stupid. Like, I gotta make it difficult for myself, so I'm gonna play on unbeatable AI difficulty. <laughs> I should probably actually, like, practice that race to see if I can, you know, do that on, on unbeatable at some point before C ring. I don't know. Oh, halfway on fuel, alright. Got a few extra laps on fuel. Thanks to my, uh... Or, not my, but that caution at the very start, so... That's cool. And meanwhile, the guys who have already pitted are catching me... From behind. Oh boy. They're five laps from halfway here. I thought I was closing in on the uh, trucks in front of me, but I guess I wasn't. And I kind of intentionally ran wide there in turn three, just to let this guy by. No sense in really holding him up. Might as well just let him have a position. Uh, here we go, tire wear. Here we go, Doug running super wide because I started share drafting with him. He's like, alright, let's draft, buddy. And he's like, oh god, why are you going over here? Unbeatable's easy as fuck. Okay. Good to know. Didn't I do the, uh... Other Enduros and Forza 7 on Unbeatable? I don't remember. I did at least one, I think. I don't know if I... Oh, God! I don't remember. That was a wall. Now you know. Here comes truck points leader, current truck points leader, Carl Edwards in the 99. Now retired from racing in real life, Carl Edwards. Because, I don't know. He wanted to explore other uh, things he cared about, I guess. 
I think that's why he retired, right? He didn't really have the passion for racing anymore or something like that. Or as much passion as he used to have. He wanted to do other things like fucking politics or some shit. Carl Edwards for president. Carl Edwards gets elected president during his inauguration speech. He just does a fucking backflip off the podium. That'd be great. Uh, here comes some more trucks that pitted on lap, like, 10. Oh, by the way, we've reached halfway now. 21 laps complete, 20 laps to go. Got Bill Lester in the 22 truck leading the race. Oh, and barely keeping off of the wall. Holy shit. Alright. Oh, how am I? Oh, God. I don't know how I kept it off the wall, but I did. Meanwhile, fucking 86 there. Almost whacking the wall off of turn four, but. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, there we go. Did it on the opposite side of the track. I delayed that smack by like 10 seconds, I guess, but still, there we go. And here come more fast and Heimers. Of course, my tires are worn, so, you know. Yeah, my pace has gone down quite a bit. And again, I did hit the ball that lap, so. It's not an accurate measurement of how much slower I'm currently running. Damn it. Carrying too much speed off the turn. Just whack it in the wall. Whack in the wall. Oh, big slide out for. Holy shit. Alright. Kept her under control, though. 17 to go. I'm actually expecting to finish this race in last, by the way. In case you were wondering. Actually, I think we're at a stage of the race where I think it's a good idea that I pit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and slow down. Maybe a little too soon, but I don't care. Bring it down 70 miles per hour. All right, we're good. Okay, I have to take extra couple tenths to repair. And I'm going to leave everything else as is. So. Yay. Pit stops. Here we go. Yes, we are indeed adding fuel. We're also changing tires. That is a wonderful camera shot right there. I love looking at just nothing but concrete. Alright, clean stop for my crew. 15 seconds because pit stops in this game are slow AF. Then again, this is a one star team, so. Probably a, you know, shitty slow pit crew because one star team. Oh, nope, blend correctly. There's no one around me, but I still want to merge correctly. I'm upsetting that race driver 2 is hard. Well, then just fucking turn down the difficulty. Because there is like normal and oh, actually, I think you need to start a new file to do that. There's like normal and hard. Or you like change the handling settings or something? I don't know. Oh, hey, Junior. I think you can maybe do that test drive. I don't know. Actually, might not be able to in the, like, the story mode. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played story mode of Race Driver 2. So I honestly couldn't tell you. Disc dies because we start. Rip. That's the thing, since I soft modded my Xbox, I've actually, like, installed this game into my hard drive. So I don't have to run it from the disc every time. Which is cool. How am I 36? Because I'm in a shit truck. Shit driver in a shit truck.
That's fine. You know, like I said, this is, you know, just to build some money and experience and hopefully get a better, uh... Basically what I'm doing here with this first season is try to build up the money so I can buy my own modified team for next season and also get a, uh, competitive truck ride for next season as well so I can maybe get some good finishes and shit. So that'd be awesome. And these late players are waiting a long time. Right, we got freaking 10 laps to go here. Like Lester just completed lap 32 and he still hasn't pitted. Can't find any difficulty settings and it might be tied to when you start your uh, profile. Because I know there's two difficulty options but I, I think it is it's either tied to the story... No, actually, no, it's not tied to... I don't fucking know. It's either tied to the simulation modes or when you start your profile. I don't remember how Race Driver 2 works. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm stupid and gay and stupid. Okay, yeah, then it's just not a story mode option. Junior. Oh, there we go. Everyone's finally, uh, pitting. I mean, you saw me play Heat 2 on the hardest difficulty in career mode, and it was, I did really well, so you know. Could play Thunder 2004. You totally should test drive. To get the best streaming ex watch experience, you gotta play a similar game at least along with me. Ha 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 And now that all the pit stops have cycled through, I am definitely in last. Again, not surprising. Gonna finish where I started. Yeah, that's a nice test drive. You have 04 and 06, but you don't have 05. Like, GG. Bad. I apexed way, way too soon. Son of a bitch. NASCAR 2069. Nice. Speaking of nice, I'm actually catching the field here. I think this might be a bit of rubber banding, actually. Because, like, I'm even faster than the fucking leader right now. Because I've gained at least two seconds on him since pit stops have cycled through. Oh, yeah, you have the fucking HD version of NASCAR 08. I'm so sorry. Matt Kenseth told me EA Sports is in the game. The good old, like, uh, early mid 2000s EA games with, like, the random intro scenes of either a driver or crew member or a compilation of all the fucking drivers and crew members that they recorded doing the EA Sports thing. And then you get the heckin', uh. Anyway, how am I? 30. Fucking fourth, holy shit. So I'm making an extra pit stop, because I'm in 34th right now. I only passed one person. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Hey, McDuck. Oh boy, tire wear. Here we go. Alright, three laps to go here at Texas. And about to give up 34th. This guy is so intent on defending his position on me that he went up the track and hit the wall because of me. Because he was defending me that hard. Sometimes AI in games are just special. And it's great. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Oh, how I didn't make contact there. And there. Gonna try and clear this guy, but also person directly in front defending. So I have to back the fuck off. That could have ended horribly, fucking touching the apron like that. Alright, final lap, pass through the grass. Hello, I am fucking shitty Dale Earnhardt. Pass through the grass in 34th place. Oh, barely getting that run off turn two. I don't know why, but it seems like the AI really slowed down on the last lap. It could just be me. Like, imagining things, but I don't know why, but it seems like I'm the best at overtaking on the final lap, although I didn't really prove that there. Hey, 34th, I didn't finish last. So there's that. And I finished better than uh, at Dover, I think. Where, where did I finish at Dover? I don't remember. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So there we go. Bill Lester wins the race from 11th by 1.1 seconds. Good for him. Had that one caution at the very start. So, let's just scroll through all these results. And, there we go. Oh, Carl Edwards apparently had a problem. I think he finished the race because he wasn't in pit lane, but... He lost five laps somewhere. Damn. Sucks for him. He was the point leader heading into this as well, so that's cool. And eh, disappointed cutscene. I lost fans and prestige. Oh no, it's fine. I'll get them back. I got hero points, so that's cool. <clears throat> like how the disappointed guy was one of my crew members, and I was there to console him. Anyways. Hey man, you are a real hero out there. You're driving clean, and you're racing like a true legend. Someone worthy of the Hall of Champions. Your fans are right there with you, so keep it up. You know, I almost forgot. You're going to start to see your share draft abilities increase as your hero status does. Yay, I'm a level one hero. I am a hero. So, yeah. That's what that gauge, by the way, means on this menu. So, level one hero, that means pretty much that share drafting is easier for me now, which is awesome. So, here's the updated point standings. Bobby Hamilton is now the point leader after uh, Carl's terrible race. Or terrible finish. Shuffled all the way down to third. And I'm all the way back, still in 37th, because there's a huge point gap between... Looks like I replaced Robbie Young, judging by uh, these points. Could be wrong, though. But there we go. So, But we've reached level 1 hero status, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah. Another race down. It was a race. So with that, next time... We will do our showdown with Jeff Gordon. Oh boy. Stay tuned for more NASCAR.